This is a cast of Inky Pinky Punky, and this is our world. I know my name says Lewis on the roll, but I'd prefer if you called me Lisa, if that's okay. Inky Pinky Ponky is a love story. It's about a young Tongan Fagaleti who starts at St. Valentine's High. She falls in love with the first 15 captain and it follows her journey. Oh my God. We have a new student and her name is Lisa. <laughs> It's actually been quite a journey. Me and the co-writer, Licky Jackson Burke, straight out the drama school, we decided to create our own work because we weren't getting any work. The first draft of the theatre full-length play that was written by me and Licky was in 2013. Moved to now, almost a whole century later, like it's a film. Well, how do I know this is for real? Have fun at the pool. The name Inky Pinky Ponky came from a medieval game they used to play with the knights, where they have like 20 love interests and they point at each other and they fall in love. I don't know. No, oh, no. I trust them. Hey, you can still trust them. <laughs> oh, 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 close. Are your friends okay? Inky Pinky Punky, the name came from all of the relationships between the characters and how there's so much different love triangles that are happening. Mm. And so it's, it's this game of Inky Pinky Punky, who's going to be with who and who likes who and who hates who. Over there is Leo Schwalger, and he is so brainy. <gasps> It's still so it is. It's like a nursery rhyme, but it's also like the entanglement between a group of people and also like being the odd one out. So it's my fourth school. I keep getting into fights for obvious reasons. It's a Catholic school, my bro. You wouldn't last a day in my shoes. To be back in a boy's school uniform, I went into it thinking it wouldn't be that bad, but I think slowly started to trigger me a little. If you wanted to use my spray, you could have asked Oi. I mean, if you're gonna use the girls' toilets. Being back in a high school uniform, it didn't feel that strange because it was like only a couple years ago. Why is everyone... <laughs> uh, everyone cheer or get out. It wasn't so much the uniform, it was being back in the environment of a high school and just remembering the politics, the drama, yeah, like the heartbreaks and stuff like that. Being on set was actually one of the funnest things. Is that Lottie Horsey? I looked forward to every day of filming, especially just being around with these guys. <laughs> Tell the truth. But yeah, I loved it. The cast and the crew really made it just more fun and exciting to shoot. Tell me the tea and all the tea. The advice I would give my character Sia would be not to make a boy your world. Through her heartbreak, she's kind of projected all of that heartbreak onto other people, and so her world starts to crumble. She loses friends and stuff, and I think it's really hard at that age because it's so easy to fall in love really quickly. Nice to meet you, Mose. Uh, nice to meet you. No kiss kissy. Oh, <laughs> eh? we were all quite silly when we were together, the cast, especially the, the six here. A lot of dirty jokes. <gasps> what? 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 Tell the truth. We're telling the truth. We're here to tell the truth. Everyone's trying to be inconspicuous with their staring, but they're wondering if before. I think one of the most memorable parts was, uh, I think, the car park scene for, mm -hmm. for me. It was, it was really hard to shoot, but I think just doing that whole scene with everybody in the car scene. No way! No way! No way! No we had a chat later on, and we realised just how big of a scene it was. So anytime I do think about Inky, I always think about just that scene and how we came together as a team, you know? So. Outside from all the silliness that we are, we were able to pull off quite a serious scene. So for me, most memorable. It's interesting what it means to be a bystander, eh? And how doing nothing is doing something in a way. Uh, just make sure that your actions reflect something that you won't regret. Um, and if it means stepping in or talking to your friends in an uncomfortable way, it, it might just mean that. We need to support her with everything she's going through. He is a boy. Advice I would give to Lisa is to quickly find the right time to have those tough conversations at home before you take them outdoors. I think it's important to create a safe space in your own home first with your family, whether that be your blood family or your chosen family. I think it's important that you have um, somewhere to go to when times are hard. Yeah, and just to also to remind yourself that everybody else around you is on a journey 
that they're all learning as well. This whole time, your mum never knew. I hope the audience takes away just understanding and a perspective on the lives of young trans girls coming through high school, even people that may be different, they have feelings and emotions and the way that you behave or the way you treat others that often gives permission to people to behave in a similar way. So mm -hmm. for people to be um, aware of that. And for me, it's always been about giving understanding, providing another viewpoint for people to see and to be a lot more kinder to each other. Is that a chicken burger? Is that a chicken burger? Eh? Shut up. Everyone knows the chicken burger is the most expensive item at the tuck shop. You only buy it for someone that's like legit, legit. I'd give my chicken burger to my fiance. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'll give mine to my husband. Yeah. Oh, oh, my I would give it to my crush. Who? 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 I mean, if Justin's not making enough music... Jessica Alba. I would give my chicken burger to... Um... <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Wait, no, because I know he watches Fresh. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! You know, uh, uh, no, don't make it a thing. Make it all the tea. tea. Yeah. No, don't make it a thing. OK, I would give my burger to Stephen Adam. Oh! Stephen oh, Adam! Stephen Adam. Keep it fresh!